Sports cars are some of my favorite cars to draw. We're going to draw a couple of different sports cars. One is going to be a front-engined 2 plus 2 sports car. And the other is going to be a mid-engined 2 passenger sports car. We're going to draw our five wheels representing the typical wheelbase. And for our front engine vehicle, we're going to set the cabin pretty far to the rear with the A-pillar aligned with the center of the front wheel. We're going to keep the cabin fairly low, and as you can see, it's about only one and a half wheel diameters tall. We're going to give this thing a nice fast back silhouette, some powerful, sexy rear haunches, a fairly longish rear overhang. Drawing our character lines through the wheels, keep everything flowing nicely. And side glass is going to have a very short graphic. Front end is going to have a nice shark nose silhouette. Powerful hood. Give it a little bit of a rise in the front fender. As you can see, the front door relative to the front wheel has a fairly long front fender. We call that dimension dash to axle. And on rear wheel drive cars, dash to axle is usually fairly long because the engine is placed lengthwise within the engine compartment. And we might use that length to put in some kind of a air extractor detail. Front wheel drive cars and mid-engine cars typically have much shorter dash to axle. Okay, so we're going to create a new set of wheels aligned with our front engine coupe and we're going to create a mid-engine car. We're going to keep our rocker super low to the ground. Now unlike the front engine car, the mid-engine car is going to have a much longer front overhang and a much shorter rear overhang. And we're going to set that cabin pretty far forward in the vehicle. So we're going to align the windscreen with the top of the front wheel versus the wheel center. And we're going to keep the overall height down to no more than one and a half wheel diameters. And the reason the cabin is set further forward is because the engine is now behind the driver. So the driver is pushed as far forward as, as they possibly can in order to make room for that large rear engine. We might put some sort of an air intake on, this, on the body side in order to bring cooling air into that engine bay. You can see the dash to axle on the mid-engine car is almost non-existent. We could run the front door directly into the front wheel if we wanted to, perhaps if it has some sort of a scissor door type mechanism. So you can see the distinct difference between front-engined and mid-engined sports cars. Typically a much shorter front overhang on the front-engine car and a longer front overhang on the mid-engine car. And then the opposite goes for the rear overhangs, a longer rear overhang on the front-engine car a shorter rear overhang on the mid-engine car.